Listening nine. Listen and read. Island adventure. Max was staying with his cousin Jeff by the sea. Every day, the boys went to the beach and played football or went fishing. But one day, they stood on the sand and stared across the sea at a small island in the distance. No one lived on the island, and the boys had never been there. I'd like to explore that island," said Max. "Let's borrow my brother's boat and go there," said Jeff. "We'll be back before he finds out." The boys rowed to the island and left the boat on the sand. They climbed trees, swam in the river, and found some caves. At last, they decided to go home. But when they went back to the boat, it wasn't there. The boys were frightened. "What are we going to do?" asked Max. "Nobody knows we're here." "Let's make a fire," said Jeff. "Someone will see the smoke." "But we haven't got any matches," said Max. "We can hit two rocks together to make a fire. Come on, it's easy." But it was dark before the boys had a fire. Suddenly, there was a splash of water. The boys stared across the sea. A dark shape was coming towards them. "Run!" shouted Max. "Hey!" said a voice. "Don't you want to go home?" Jeff's brother was standing on the beach next to the missing boat. "How did you find us?" asked Jeff in amazement. "I saw the boat floating near the shore." So I swam out to get it. Then I saw your smoke, and I realized what happened. That was lucky," said Jeff. "Yes, but next time," said Jeff's brother as they rowed back. "Tell me before you take my boat out, and always tie it to a tree."